This video will discuss the Factory Talk Asset Center database management feature, which was introduced in version 6.1 of Factory Talk Asset Center. The database management feature allows for scheduled updates on the size of the Asset Center database, as well as automated purging of archive asset versions. Database management functionality is optional and can be configured from within the Factory Talk Asset Center client. Once the database management feature has been enabled, a number of areas can be monitored. The total maximum size of the database allows for monitoring of the entire database size. Two different thresholds can be set for this level, including a warning level and a critical level. Reaching the warning level will result in warning messages, as well as email notifications if configured. Reaching the critical level will additionally result in automatic restrictions designed to limit size increase, such as the prevention of creating new assets. These global settings can also be applied to the maximum number of versions of an archived asset. This configuration will apply to all archived assets and will automatically prune the oldest version if a new version is added. Note that the global configuration can be overridden at the individual asset level, which will be seen later in this demonstration. Each diagnostic log category, events, audits, and diagnostic and health, can also be monitored for size. These sizes include not only the diagnostics message, but also any applicable attachments. Any of the maximum properties, including the log sizes, can be set to unlimited by entering a value of zero. This allows the user to take advantage of some database management functionality without having to apply all of it. The database size information will be queried at the specified refresh rate. The minimum refresh time is one hour, meaning that the database will be queried once every hour to determine the current size. Note that this refresh time does not apply to the archive asset version maximum, which is applied upon each check-in action. Email notifications can be sent upon this refresh rate if the warning or critical thresholds have been met. When new database maximum limits have been configured, the scan button is used to confirm that the current system is within the newly configured sizes. If any area is beyond the new maximum, it will be shown in the scan report allowing the user to manually reconfigure the size options or prune the area in question. If an area is outside of the maximum configuration, the settings cannot be saved, thus preventing unintentional deletion of information. In this example, one of the archived assets currently has more versions in archive than the global maximum would allow for. The global maximum number of versions will apply to all assets, but each individual asset will allow the user to override that setting. The individual asset view will show the current amount of disk consumed by the asset, as well as the current number of versions. Some critical assets may require a higher number of versions than others, while assets that change infrequently may use a lower maximum. With all options passing the current database configuration, the database management functionality can now be enabled. Notice that when the database management functionality has been enabled, a new status view appears in the Asset Center client. The current size of the database, as well as its percentage of the maximum configured size, will be shown. Color coding will be applied as thresholds are reached, with yellow for warning and red for critical. Existing utilities, such as the Archive Cleanup and Log Cleanup Wizards, should be used to prune the database in conjunction with the information provided by the database management functionality. Database management functionality is included with the Asset Center server activation. No new activation will be required for its use. For more information, please refer to the following sites.